think that regulation is a really important part in our economic system, especially after the crisis that we've just experienced. The majority of the challenges in the industry right now are uh, to understand the complexity as both in, in extent and demands from part of the supervisor. I found it really interesting this master because I consider that give us the tools to make shorter the differences between the regulation and the financial sector. I like this master too because we have professors that come from important institutions as the Bank of Spain, European Central Banks. And and another important institutions that give us a plus. And I think uh, this master's really gives you an overview of what's happening in the financial context. I do believe that I have now the uh, basics to defend myself with the uh, banking system. I can be in touch with people from different backgrounds and the teachers are a limitless source of knowledge. My experience so far has been very tiring, but so far it's been very good, very good. I've been learning quite a lot. So you have a lot of opportunities once you finish this master. You have a lot of doors open in the labor market. I think the most important thing uh, during this matter is it would give us a chance to work for those big name companies like, um, like Big Four. Uh, for example, right now I'm working in Fankia in the Department of uh, Journal Intervention. My expectations after this master's would be to work either in banking or in um, supervisory for banks. Somebody who takes this master is really going to understand all aspects of the bank, which I think this global view is really important. We are going to introduce R, SAS and Pyro because we think that uh, these uh, language programs are really important for developing skills for uh, programming for credit risk and market risk. So it's not just banking business that these students are getting to know, it's also financial regulation, economic environment and very important topics such as ethics, social corporate responsibility that are adding value to commercial banks around the world. We are organize classes in London and Brussels in the end of January with the best professionals in these locations and also we organize classes in May in Frankfurt with the best professionals of banking regulation in Frankfurt. I think that our students are being part of this digital transformation that is happening in commercial banks and I think uh, the proof of that is that they're getting hired by all these commercial banks and central banks and consulting institutions from around the world. The master is a living entity that tries to adjust to the new challenges in the industry and in order to do so we have created an advisory committee which helps us to deal with the new challenges and they usually suggest new areas of studying and big tech for instance is one of those. One of the challenges that we face today in the banking industry is to find the right talent. We really need to incorporate young talent with new capabilities and therefore it is very interesting for us to be able to give suggestions on the different items and subjects that we need people to be capable of uh, knowing before working in a bank. They can get in-depth knowledge out of a single point on an array of matters that's very difficult to see gathered together. I think that this degree is unique. Uh, from the very beginning it was focused on uh, banking regulation, which there is no other master in Europe, uh, so focused on that. And the good thing is that uh, it's adapting every year. Every year regulation is changing, uh, every year new challenges as the digital is coming along, so the master is keeping alive the program, the syllabus, and also the workshops and, and the contact with the industry. The master provides an opportunity to grasp from a single syllabus a set of knowledge which is it's difficult to gather by recourse to other ways or from the traditional ways. So in my view, having an advisory board like this is really very useful in order not to lose the contact between the reality and the banking industry. Some masters lack uh, that dynamism, so they've been teaching the same topics uh, for a very long time. I think the strength of the University of Navarra is that it's trying to innovate at the same pace as the industry, and that is a key element of success.